How you doing, YouTube? Matt and Massive Beer Reviews back with uh, I don't know, channel update, a little bit of uh, bits and pieces, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a couple different things. Uh, first things first, 6,000 subscribers. Uh, I hit 6,000 subscribers, which is pretty damn crazy stuff. Um, I don't know. I just never imagined actually getting to 6,000 subscribers ever, let alone, you know, in a couple of years. And it's kind of came really fast from five too. I just did a 5,000 subscriber video in August. So six months, a thousand subscribers. That's pretty awesome. Uh, hats off to all you sons of bitches out there. Meek is very impressed. Um, yeah, sh um, yeah, you guys are awesome. Um, just from views to engagement to the whole nine. Uh, it's kind of the fun reason why we do all this stuff. Uh, you guys pick beers that we talk about here on Beer Tube, but you also kind of engage with us as far as whether we are, you know, picking up the right stuff or kind of, you know, uh, giving out proper information. I don't even know if that's the correct way to say it, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, on kind of in conjunction with that, thank you very much for the amount of mystery beers you motherfuckers have been sending. Mystery beers are taking over the fucking earth. Uh, people are doing crazy amounts of mystery beers now. Uh, one of the funnest things I did was kind of kind of throw those out there to different people so that other people are doing them. It's pretty fucking awesome. And just myself alone, I've done so many of them uh, to the point where, you know, I think I've done minus one Monday. I've posted pretty much one or two mystery beers every single Monday for over two years now. So that is fucking insane uh, because that's all pretty much been like uh, donations from uh, you guys, uh, stuff that you guys sent out. Uh, to me, because there's no way I can do them by myself. So the fact that you guys are on board with that is fucking awesome. Uh, next thing's up. I thought these might combine together uh, or come together at the same time, but my subs went a little bit faster. I'm almost at 2,000 beer reviews. That should be, I should hit that by the beginning of March, probably the end of February, beginning of March. I'm at, I think at like 1,900 and 60 something uh so that'll be cool i kind of kind of have a couple ideas of the beers that i might want to do for my 2000th beer review but i'm open to suggestions uh if anybody out there wants me or thinks i should do specific stuff or specific beer you know throw it out there let me know what you think but that's going to be kind of cool another milestone kind of in conjunction almost at the same time it's kind of weird how that works so that's pretty awesome um let's see what else uh this why am i doing this while i'm driving it's kind of a test actually uh the test for a new series i'm going to be doing uh, i commute to work uh it takes me you know about an hour each way so two hours a day i work from home one or two days a week so i'm commuting three to four days a week for my job and i have a lot of time sure I listen to podcasts watch youtube videos or listen to youtube videos i should say um but i have a lot of time uh so i figured I kind of wanted to do like a daily like video diary vlog kind of thing when it comes to uh, the channel. And I figured maybe doing it in a car might work. I don't know if the sound's going to work. I don't know the clarity is going to be all there. Hence the reason of me doing this right now while I'm driving. See how it comes off. So you guys let me know if it sounds good enough for you guys to listen to. But I figured, you know, two, one, two, preferably two or three times a, a week, I would riff on some topics, you know. Uh, you know, mostly, almost always beer-related stuff. Just get my thoughts and ideas on stuff outside of just plain old beer reviews. Sure, I do a lot of that in a podcast format, but this is more just me just kind of rambling into the cam um, camera. Kind of a mini editorial, but a daily um, video diary kind of thing. Uh, but what it also does, is it gives you guys a chance to kind of have me kind of riff on stuff that you guys want me to talk about. So um, I can't do it as a live show because I'll be driving, so I'm not going to be able to kind of answer or respond. I would try. That would be the problem. I end up smacking into something. But uh, what I can do is in those videos, you know, just any of the videos, whether it be this one or those daily uh, diaries that I do, let me know what you guys want to think, uh, want me to talk about uh, in uh, in the whole series. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Massive beers, commutes or some shit. But um, let me know what you guys want to uh, talk about, uh, things you want me to hear me riff on. And uh, I'll give it a go and see if it works. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, and the podcast, last but, not le last but not least, the podcast. I am going to be doing the podcast again. I took the winter off. I took a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, it just got too hard with the weather and with breweries being festival season. So I figured, okay, let's just uh, put, a, put a pin in it if you will, for the winter and kind of get back into it coming towards spring. So I'm booking people now. Uh, I have a, you know, a local uh, sour guy 
who's making really great sours, kind of a home brewer. He's opened up a place. I'm going to talk to him about it. Um, meet up with him in later in February. But also before that, it's going to be my first kickoff of the new season. And I'm going to be doing that in New York City. Uh, I'm going to go out the weekend of the 16th and 17th, state of the 18th, actually. And I'm going to do a two-part podcast series. Uh, first one's going to be, well, both of them are going to be held at Carmine Street Beers, which is in uh, Manhattan. So if you guys want to look up, you can uh, check that out online. And I'll be there on the Sunday, which I believe is the 17th of February. And we're going to record with uh, the owner of Carmine Street Beers, uh, a couple of uh, beer journalists from out there in New York way. And then my buddy Tom and Brad, you know them. They've been on the YouTubes before. We're going to do like a round table there. And then uh, either before or after that, we're actually going to do our first uh, beer brewer interview of the year with Torch and Crown Brewing. It's a new brewery just launching in New York City. So we're going to sit down with those guys. And I really want to kind of tie them both into what's it like to um, drink, sell, and brew beer in New York City. Most people don't know, New York City was a pretty kind of poopy area when it came to beer. I know when I was, you know, coming up through beer when I was in my 20s and 30s, right around like the late 90s and early 2000s, you pretty much avoided New York altogether for beer. Sure, you had places like Blind Tiger and whatnot that were nice, but uh, there really wasn't much as far as brewers go. I mean, really out there, you know, even Brooklyn Brewing is brewed up in Matt Brewing up upstate New York. Uh, so there wasn't really much going on, but now it's the exact opposite. There's so many breweries open up. There's so many great bottle shops. So I kind of want to talk about what it's like to, to be the that in New York, um, you know, both from a retail kind of business end of it to opening up a brewery in there. So that'll, that'll kick off the new podcast season with a bunch of other breweries and guests and stuff like that. So there you go, man. That's a little uh, quick little uh, thank you for the 6K subs. A uh, little bit of heads up on the 2000th beer review. Uh, then you get a little bit of, uh, you know, podcast, hopeful goodness, a little mystery beer updates, a whole bunch of hodgepodge, a potpourri, if you will, of massive beer goings on. So, yeah, definitely let me, let me know what you think about this, how this sounds. This is going to be good enough for you guys to listen to. Let me know you, what you guys want me to talk about. Since I'm going to be doing it a couple days a week, it going to be really on point topical what's going on in that day, in that week. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are around, uh, I didn't say that yet. If you guys are around, if you're New York City based or you're going to be in the area and you're going to be around that weekend, feel free to stop down at Carmine Beers when I'm actually filming um, the podcast or recording the podcast uh, on both ends of the spectrum. You know, it'd be cool to have you guys stop back, uh, stop by, uh, chug a beer, hang out, shoot the shit. You know, if you're not too craptastic, you can join the round table. You know, so if you guys are going to be in and around that area, um, drop me a line, let me know. And we'll meet up, have a beer. Uh, otherwise, hopefully you guys are enjoying all the, the stuff that's kind of tumbling out the old face hole. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the reviews. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the new series that I'll do. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the podcast. Hopefully you're enjoying some beer, actually. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.